G'day and welcome to our Redriven Top 5 Worst Cars of 2022. Obviously we're going to be doing a Best Cars of 2022. That video might already be out when you're watching this. If not, go and watch it either before or after. doesn't really matter. This is also sort of our end of year's Christmas drinks. How are you, Jim? Cheers, 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Water. Mm. Delicious water. Mm. Water. Um, shall we get into this? Let's Straight up. Let's All go. Right. Biggest disappointment? Um, you know the saying, you should never meet your hero? Mm -hmm. Well, my biggest disappointment of the year was the Peugeot 205 GTI. Okay. okay. I know. And, and the reason being, um, one of my mates had one of these in my early 20s, and we used to hoon around in it. It was tight. It was lifting back wheels up King Edward Park, which is a local hill climb track here. Yeah. Great fun. But now they're just... Actually, kind of rubbish. They're falling apart, and they don't. And compared to what we used to now in a modern hatch, it's like. I know. I'm going to disagree. I, I like. I yeah. Yeah. That, the one we the one we reviewed had seen better days. The dashboard alone was a little bit sketchy, to say the least. I still really enjoyed it, but that's okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, look, I'm, I still have a, a nostalgic. You know, I, I like the car, uh -huh. but it's like to see them now. It's like oh, they really just haven't aged well. What are your thoughts on like the ones that are like fully restored, the resto mod? Is it Tolman or Tolman yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. They're, they're amazing, yeah. but they're pretty heavily modified yeah, to, to get them up to modern day yes. well, and standards what, that we're used to. Very expensive. Yeah. And very expensive for what it is. Yeah. Um, my personal biggest disappointment, it's going to upset a lot of people, Mazda RX-8. I don't know if that'll upset as many people as you think. Just I think everybody now knows they're a bit shit. <laughs> that one, I think, I don't know if I was expecting more. I've, I, so I drove, I've drove one. The ones I've all driven have all been pretty heavily modified. Mm. They were all many, many years ago. But that one was just a, a bit of a letdown, honestly. I, I had it, after we shot the car, I had it for a little while longer. Mm. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff I wish I'd mentioned like later in the video, but we, we couldn't do it just with yeah. scheduling it, and whatnot. The problems it had were the same problems that all of them have. Mm. You know, so that's how they all are, unless yeah. they've been heavily modified or restored or had a fortune spent on them. And that's the thing, like, we know there are RX-8s out there that uh, have been cared for and maintained and there are owners that love and adore them, that's totally okay. I just found the whole thing, the lack of torque. Again, you know, we get to drive a bunch of cars and a lot of them these days are turbocharged, so therefore have a fair bit of torque and the lack of torque was, was rubbish. We have to have some sort of filter because we drive these older cars mm. and we compare them to what we drive now. Mm. They were okay then but we sort of yeah there's just and, and for, the, for what they cost there's just so many other cars i'd be buying instead of an, an rx8 sorry yeah. rx8 fans but that's my biggest disappointment of the year okay least fun car of the year yeah uh my my pick is probably going to upset some people too it was the um the lexus is 300 i just found it to be very boring and i don't know it was too it was very it was lovely it was beautiful to drive it was quiet it was yep. everything it should be yeah but when i drove it i've kind of felt like someone's grandfather <laughs> like not in a cool way yeah, you know, yeah, buy yeah. an old classic you know drive an old classic that's cool this just made me feel yeah i don't know weirdly boring i wish we got the v8 one out here oh, that'd, be cool. that'd be amazing i'd different love yeah totally whole different, different car um but yeah it's no like I'll, four I'll, cylinder it was kind of too quiet it was slow. yeah I'll agree, like, I had that car for a really long time. Uh, like, accidentally. Accidentally for... <laughs> How many months was that? A long time. It was like three it's months. It's not your fault. They it wasn't should have come and collected it. There's a whole, there's a whole other story yeah. for a different time. But yeah, I had that car for a long time. And yeah, it was, it was great. It was, like having, it was like having a really good dishwasher. Was it? Yeah, or a really efficient fridge. A really efficient a fridge. A really aerodynamic yes. fridge. It was, a, it was a, a fridge that kept everything nice and cool, did everything mm. right, mm. but at the end of the day, it's still a fridge. An economical there, fridge. Economical fridge, but just a bit boring. Mm. My, what is it? The, my least fun? Forester. Uh, the newer of the Foresters, mm. that, out of the two we've done, the newer of the Foresters for this year. That was a heartbreaking car. I'm... I'm not a Subaru fan. I own a Subaru, but uh, I, I love. Had a few Subarus. I've had a few yeah. Subarus. I've had a bunch of Subarus, and and honestly, the the, like the 95 WRX is sort of one of the cars that got me into cars. And Colin McRae's a hero, uh, but it's just I don't know. Yeah, just ugh, like not bad, mm. but just eh. not good. In fact, not good at anything. Really. Yeah, yeah, just, just good at maybe 
I don't get any groceries or something. Yeah, it's that's terrible. CVT is mm. horrible and just and it's just boring, really mm. boring car. I get why people like them. If you're not into cars, you just need to get from here to over there with a mm. bunch of stuff. And Good don't time. care too much about reliability yeah. or resale. Yeah, great. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the right place Harsh. to say that. Yeah, Harsh. 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 but true. Uh, yeah, just that was mine. Forrester, the newer one. My, most boring car of the year. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, next category. Uh, the, the car that we just don't understand. We don't understand why people buy them. We don't get it, even though we've had them. Jim, what's your, what's your pick? Um, sorry, Boxster. I don't understand it. I, sorry, why? When the Cayman exists, you know. No. And, I, and I said this to you earlier. If you want a convertible, buy a bloody Jimny. Mm. Or, you know, an old Sierra or something. But I, like, Cayman. I know. I, look, I'm not saying anything bad about the car. Yeah. But everything Porsche stands for, and the great things about a Boxster, it, I just find it's a weird juxtaposition to have no roof on it. You want to go fast? You. I know. Yeah. I. Jim and I are a bit weird on convertibles. I, I own a convertible, but that's different because it's an MX-5, no, and they're awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I. Just I, no. I, <laughs> It I, just screams a little bit, look at me, look at me. Do you think it's our geography? Do you think it's Australia is just inherently kind of anti... Uh, yeah. Like premium yeah. brand name convertibles? Yeah, it's probably got something to do with it. Yeah. But, again, yeah. because Cayman. Okay. Well, I loved it. I know. I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> I would still buy a Cayman over a Boxster. Mm. Um, and that, again, that's just that's me being a wanker. I mm. just can't get past the whole... There's the like, oh, it's a hairdresser's car, or it's, it's the no, Porsche. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not no, saying yeah, you yeah. that. I'm just saying... Nothing wrong with being a hairdresser nothing either. Nothing at all. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah. But I'm just not saying that it's a bad car. I'm just saying yeah. Cayman exists, and that's why. And what was your... Mine was the and, Freelander. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad car. The but Freelander. it actually is a bad car. Okay. It's a bad car. You should not buy one, but I think it's one of those cars that I... I, I think a lot of people buy them because of the brand name mm-hmm. more than what the car is yes it does it's, it's for that category of car it's probably the one of the pick one, one of the picks when it comes to off-roading ability but how many freelander drivers are actually properly going like overlanding or off-road no, none of them and even then modify up like a t31 x trail for half the price more reliable yeah more reliable will probably be nearly as capable Mm -hmm. and even that's depending on the situation and who's behind the wheel Mm -hmm. um i just think for what a freelander costs there's a bunch there's a whole and also what they cost to repair yeah yeah yeah, exactly eye watering well that's the thing like it's there's a massive risk above them again some owners out there never have a problem they're super Mm -hmm. reliable some but unfortunately as you know from experience Mm -hmm. Plenty have major, major dramas. And that's a known thing. You jump online, you type in Freelander, you see all the problems come up. So I don't know why you would risk all of the issues when there's just better other, options. There's better yeah. options out yeah. there. It just doesn't make sense I've got me. a couple of um, honourable mentions mm-hmm. for things I just don't understand. Uh, I don't understand the Ford Raptor. The Ford Ranger okay. Raptor, I should okay. say. Okay. Um, right. Because same for similar reasons, because Boxster Cayman, mm-hmm. there's youths out there that are just as good a utes that are a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. And if you want something that goes faster, because of the better suspension in the Raptor, obviously, well, don't get a dual cab. Yeah. But if you want a dual cab with a comfortable suspension, there's other ones out there with yeah. cool spring suspensions that are just as nice on road. And also, I think the, the other argument with the Ranger Raptor, and as we've seen out there, like a Navara has a coil sprung rear end. Yep. And if you spend, let's say, five or even like, 10 grand on suspension on a Navara. That's going to be a hot suspension setup. Yeah. And it's arguably going to be. But, but again, do you need that suspension setup? Like, how many people have the Raptor and use it as it, that, you know, as that? I think most people prefer it to drive because it's more comfortable. Yeah. I think many people are actually blasting down a dirt road with no. turrets and actually going, how good is this yeah. compared to Leaf Springs? Yeah, yeah. No one. I, I will admit, having it, it's a mate of mine's car, the one we shot. Um, and. Yeah, I went into that kind of going, yeah, Raptor, whatever. You wanted to hate it. I wanted to hate it. And within, honestly, 10 minutes, I was like, I love this thing. It, 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 it somehow, I don't know, yes, they've engineered great suspension into it, but they've also engineered this feeling of, like, just invincibility. Like, the engine is a, a massive letdown. Too bad they had to sacrifice towing capability. True, true. And, you know, and reliability true. of that engine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. <laughs> um, but I'd love to try the new one. I'd love yeah. to have a go. Then I think that'd be a different story. Yeah, so, yeah completely yeah. different. Yeah. 
Ford, if you're watching, if you've got any spare Raptor press cars lying around. Two, please. Yeah, two. That'd yeah. be great. Um, okay, the car we would avoid recommending at all costs. Or we would never recommend this. Ever. Ever. Jim? Um, Got to be the crap Tiva. I agree. Yeah, we, we both have the very same rarely car. do we agree on this, but I've also got an honourable mention, which is the Freelander, <laughs> which you love. No, I didn't. I didn't love the Freelander. No, you, I, yeah, you didn't understand. Again, it's, an, it's also another mate of mine's car, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm cautious of <laughs> ragging on her car yeah. too much. I think she's still got it. I'm not sure. Um, you should tell her to sell it. I did tell her to sell it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Captiva. I don't what know. What a unit. What a serious piece of crap. Yeah. Oh, I just, I, I get almost like flashbacks when I see them on the road. Mm. It's like, oh, there's one. Oh, mm. God, it's disgusting. Yeah. I don't, yeah, don't, don't. don't I, I say to people, and this has been happening a lot over the last 12 months, it's sort of at the age now with this car, you might want to consider not spending big bucks on it. Mm. Maybe start looking around for something a little bit more Toyota y. <laughs> you know, and people just, people go, oh, really? Why? Are they not that good? And, you know. That's, that, that's one thing, like, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with this. If you're into cars, there's almost this sort of, oh yeah, Captiva, they're terrible. Mm. But when you talk to people that have no knowledge or interest in at yeah. all in cars, yeah. like, oh, are they bad? Yeah, but they're really cheap, they yeah, say. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, am it's amazing. It's, yeah, we, I'm always amazed that when, you know, obviously everyone asks, about, asks mm. us about cars, um, just how little people understand and realise. Yeah. Classic mm. example, uh, talking to a lady the other day who has bought an MG, and um, and I said, oh, you know, what was the you know the buying decision? A lot of people are a bit cautious of buying Chinese cars. And she went, oh no no, it's an MG, it's it's English. And I went, mean, no no, it's made in China. MG, the name was bought by a Chinese mm. company. She goes, no no no, MG, they're they're English. I'm like, hang on, yeah. she's just dropped, and it was a top of the range, whatever the best SUV is. So yeah. what's that, forty maybe right. even fifty grand? Yeah. And she's under the impression. It's made in the UK. Uh, I had no idea. Yeah. And I had, to, I had to show it on like Wikipedia. I'm like, yeah. no, 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 MG, it's, it's Chinese. She's yeah. like, oh. Not that that's a bad thing. No, no, no. This no, is no, when she's under the misunderstanding that it's yeah. British. Yeah. Um, actually, on that, if anyone out there has any MG that's more than two or three years old, can you let us know in the comments or can we feature it? Because we're on the hunt for it any... It any... like they've been around that long. No, they've been around for no, a long time. No, they have been. Yeah. It's really... Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. So if anyone's out there, anyone out there has an MG or knows how we can get one, a used one, and you're in Newcastle or Sydney, let us know in the comments. Or message us on Instagram. Okay. The big one. The worst car of the year. 2022. Worst car of the year. Jim, what's your pick? The one, the only. GLE. And I completely agree. Yep. What a bucket of shit yeah. this thing was. Yeah. I'm gonna. I, I'm going to say they are worse than a Captiva. Yeah. I'll is that, give how you is that. that possible? That that's tr it's right though, isn't it? Dad, they are worse than a Captiva. Mercedes Benz GLE. M Mercedes, you should be ashamed wow. of, ashamed of yourselves. Yes, again, there are owners out there. We know because we copped a lot of flack in the comments and also in the owners groups. Mm. There are owners out there that love them, adore them, have never had a problem. But the problem is mm. when things go wrong, which does happen yeah. on a scarily regular mm. basis, they're eye-wateringly eye expensive yeah. to repair. Yeah. Um, the one we had, after we shot that, the suspension went, didn't mm. it? So the suspension... Yeah, it, it's collapsed on one side. The back seat issue, there was yeah. a problem with the back seats. That it never... wouldn't lift up or fold down or something. Yeah, that, would, that just would not resolve. Yeah. And something else went wrong with it. The lights. Something? All of the lights. That's right. <laughs> all yeah, the yeah, yeah. warning lights. All of the time. Yeah. That yeah. thing... Like, and, 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 like an EGR. I can't remember. It was yeah, a long yeah. time. It had a lot of, lot of problems. Yeah. I can't remember. And not only, not only that one, mm. like... We've we've both seen others that mm. have, like, again, my brother used to own one. Yeah, and uh, he got rid of it because every time he booked it in for a service, it was like a five thousand dollar bill. It was just insane. That's crazy. Just crazy. terrible car. Yeah, that's. Uh, I agree. Uh, our our official redriven twenty twenty two worst car of the year. Yeah, look, we agreed on something. There you go. There we go. Mercedes Benz GLE. That thing sucks. Um, that's it for this video. I don't know if this is coming. This is coming up before our best cars of yeah, the year, but yeah. depending on when you're watching this, go watch that one as well. Um, and again, happy Christmas, happy New Year, and thank you for all the support through uh, the last couple of years. This has been an amazing journey. This is only the beginning. We've got so much more to come. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time.